Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is different people. That's one red hill. He was trying to go to the other side. Anywho, the scripture comes from Jubilees 10. And ten, and he commanded that one of us should teach Noah all their medicines, for he knew that they would not walk in uprightness, nor strive in righteousness. And we did according to his words, and we bound all the malevolent evil ones in that in the place of condemnation, and the tenth part of them we left that they might be subject before Satan on the earth. Okay, so here's the message. God said for somebody that you cannot compare yourself to someone else, okay? Regardless to what it is, I feel like this is a situation where someone is... Um, hold on, I'm trying to highlight y'all. Okay. This is a situation where someone, like, either they have a different job or they have a different mission. They have a different position when it comes to God's kingdom. They have a different kind of spouse that God has ordained for them. They have a different purpose than what you may have. And just because somebody has a different purpose, just because somebody's job is different, just because someone has a different way of living, just because God commands their steps to be a certain kind of way, uh, like God says, they have a different path. And understand that. And it's nothing wrong with that. You know, I just feel like this is someone that is being very judgmental towards someone else because their path is different from yours. Understand, God has commanded their path to be that way. And that's why it is the way that it is. That's why they were they walk the way that they do. They behave the way that they do. They do things the way that they do because God commanded them to do that. And, you know, I, I feel like there's just too many people that want to control what everybody do. You can't control everybody. You can't control nobody. If we have free will, therefore, even there are people that literally do the opposite of what God wants them to. Now, just because someone is not doing what you think they should do, regardless of if it is as a position, maybe they have a different job than what you would like for them to have. Maybe they work at a different place than where you, that's the same thing. Or they, like, whatever, I feel like this is somebody earning a living, like God is saying different things, I like, that are basically like a job. So it's somebody that don't like somebody's job. Like they feel like the job that they have is not suitable for them. Or they feel like it's fake or it's faulty. Or like I hear that that's not a real job. Or that's not, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes down to it, you know, it, as long as you making a living and you paying your bills, then that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what somebody suspect, assume what they think or how they feel. You know what I'm saying? And I just feel like God is saying that that is the path that he is giving you. That is the path that he is giving whoever this person is. Your paths may not be the same. They may not be identical. But it does not mean that you are not on your right path just because it's not the path that they assumed you would have. Regardless to if this is someone you grew up with somebody that watched you grow up or whatever it is it could be a situation um yeah because some people like they they assume you know just because you acted a certain way as a child that that's how you they assume what kind of position you gonna have they assume what kind of job you gonna have but if this is somebody you did um i feel like 180 360 type change like you did a full turnaround it's not a situation where you are you know, 
who they thought you were going to be. You don't act the way they thought you would act. You don't do the things they thought you would do. You are not seen at the places they thought you would go. You don't hang around the kind of people they thought you would hang around. And for somebody, there's there are people that are literally looking for you in certain places. And they don't understand how they don't see you there. There are people that are expecting that you would show up doing this and you would show up doing that and you don't. And when you don't, they are confused. They are bewildered. They don't understand how you are a different person than who you used to be. But God changed you. God saved you. And he is going to use you for whatever purpose that he feels like he wants to use you for. And they don't have no say so in it. And that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? For some of y'all, somebody is upset about this here. But God said, if that's not, if they don't get to choose what kind of life you get. And you know, if they're going to be mad about it, I will. But that's just what God said. You know? And then I'm looking at how it says, all the evil ones are bound in a place of condemnation. And a tenth part of them we left that they might be subject before Satan on the earth. So you have to understand, whenever somebody is too focused on what somebody else is doing, they are out of alignment with what God wants them to do. You like it's only a certain extent. You know, regardless of who you are, it's only a certain extent. Even if you know a, a manager, it's only a certain extent to what they should be worried about. You know, um uh, once I, I once I you know when I used to work in the 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 up close with managers and stuff like that, mm -mm. we're not friends on Facebook. We don't for what? Why are you trying to follow me on Instagram? For what, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And I'm just being real. And I had a feeling once all that started getting kind of hype. I, I was, and people was exchanging this, that, and the third. The way that people be on Facebook and Instagram, I was like, people gonna start getting fired over this here. And and then it, ha it happened too. It happened too. You know what I'm saying? And see, there was once a time where whatever you did in your personal life, that's what you did in your personal life. It ain't have nothing to do with your job. And now we live in a time where people are getting fired for their personal life. Now, I'm not saying that they always wrong because it is situations where people are just out of line and out of order and acting a complete fool. And you know what I'm saying? They, they, they get what they deserve. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You have to think about it. It's kind of like you don't really have freedom of speech as much as you used to because, you know, and that's just what it is. When you off the clock, you off the clock. When you're not at work no more, you're not at work no more. And, you know, it's kind of giving, you know, that your job is in control of you and what you can do and how you can do it and all that kind of stuff. But, anywho, that's just my personal two cents. But I feel like God is saying when it comes down to it, this is somebody that they want to have full control over what you got going on. And they're upset that they can't. This may be someone that used to boast and brag and maybe they used to spread rumors and spread lies about you going to do this and you going to do that and your life going to be this way and they can't wait until this happened and they can't wait until that happened and watch they going to be like this, that, and the third. God said for somebody, someone was saying that you was going to have all these different people that you were going to have children with and you were going to do, you were going to be doing bad, down bad. God said for somebody, they said you was going to be down bad and you not. And they shocked. They cannot believe that you don't live your life the way they thought that you were going to live your life. They cannot believe that your life don't look nothing like what they pictured your life was going to look like. They cannot believe that you, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like compared to what they thought you were going to be going through and how your life was going to be, you looking good. You doing excellent compared to what they thought. And even with that, they also feel like you don't deserve to have the life you have. And you don't deserve to have this. You don't deserve to have that. God said that he is the judge and he is the one that chooses what you deserve to have and what you don't deserve to have. And from where he's sitting, he feels like what they thought that you deserve is not what you deserve. That's why you didn't get that. That's why it didn't happen. That's why that's not the way you live in. That's why that's not the way it panned out. And you know what I'm saying? God said he's not through with you yet. Regardless of how they feel about it. 
it's not up to them. God said, and it's not up to uh to the uh, discussion for somebody. God said, he said, this is not a situation where he's going to be asking what they think about it. He's not concerned with what they think. Some of these people try to look down on you and try to make it seem like you was just such a bad person or you just such an awful person and they have done worse things than you. Just because they real secretive and you know what I'm saying and they make sure ain't nobody looking don't mean that they perfect. And you know what I'm saying? It is a lot of people that's like that, baby. It is a lot of people that's like that. It's a lot of people that's like that. That they, they just pick and they pick and they pick and they pick and they pick about any and everything. And you know me personally, I, I, I'm the kind of person, I'm, I'm not finna concern myself with what somebody else is talking about. I'm not. I'm not. Somebody was trying to tell me that I'm not supposed to have prayer beads in my car. They talk about the prayer beads not mentioned in the Bible. Majority of the Bible was going on before Jesus was born. So why would they have beads with him on the cross if he wasn't even born yet? And then in the other part, he was living. And, you know, part of it of uh, him being deceased and what happened after and, and, and rising again and all that. But I'm just saying this was a time that obviously the beads weren't made yet. And, and I, I don't even understand the logic. They didn't talk about the Bible in the Bible either. Mm -hmm. They didn't. Because it wasn't created until years after that. When the, the scrolls were found. <laughs> but some people just, they want to be judgmental just to be judgmental. They want to feel some kind of way just to feel some kind of way. They want to accuse. And they, you know what I'm saying, want to try to control what everybody else is doing. And I just feel like when it comes down to it, God said, you like you going to do what he said. And you're going to live your life the way he wants you to live your life. And he's not concerned with what nobody's opinion about that is. And that's just what it is. Their opinion is their opinion. And that's all that it is. Like, it, it, it don't hold no weight when it comes to what God going to do in your life. It don't hold no weight in what God is going to give you. It don't hold no weight in what God is going to do for you. And that's just what it is. And it have no effects either. For somebody, it have no effects. You know, um, even when I go to thinking about how, you know, some people, they have to deal with people trying to stalk them and harass them and, you know, on social media and they trying to see what they doing in real life and they got people trying to call up to the job and they trying to do this and they trying to do that and trying to see what they could possibly do to ruin everything for them because they don't think they deserve that. God said, can't nobody take away what he is blessing you with. It's not a situation where they have some kind of say-so in that. They don't have no control over that. They don't have no hand in that. And regardless if they mad about it or not, oh, well, too bad, too sad. That's the message, y'all. Different people, you're not going to go down the... And for some of y'all, they didn't want you to anyway. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like for some people, it's like they... Uh, God is saying someone will say that you can't do what they do. But in, in reality, it's not intended for you to do what they do. It's not intended for you to follow in their footsteps. It's not intended for you to be another version of them. It is intended for you to be yourself. You are your own person. And you're going to do what God has for you to do. And yes, it's different. No, it's not going to be the same. Yes, you're you going to be in alignment with what God wants you to do. <sighs> That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.